Perhaps my favourite god is Hermes, just because he represents so much what I like. Um, joking, storytelling, rascaliness generally, slightly transgressive figure. Um, um, but also, um, you know, he's funny, he's delightful, and as his childhood is amazing. Um, I'm favourite goddess, I would probably say Athena. I, I always loved Athena when I was a boy. She was the one, and when she appeared in front of Achilles or whoever, the, the grey eyes, the wisdom, but the strength, the whole sort of, the whole mixture that she, everything that she represents, which is, of course, well, Athens, you know, her, her, she's patron of Athens and is named after her. And uh, she, she, you know, everything, she was handicraft, and, you know, but also wisdom and thought and things in, in a different way to Apollo, who's obviously a fabulous god too. But Apollo, I think, is, you know, I mean, he's golden and he's athletic and he's, you know, harmony and music. But it, actually, the, the truth, Hermes gave him music. It was Hermes who discovered music and gave it to, to Apollo. Um, and, and Apollo could be so cruel. I mean, they could all be cruel, and you have to remember that. None of them is a perfect, wise god. They're all, I mean, that's one of the things I love about Greek gods, is that they are as capricious, as inconsistent, as, as willful, and as, as in, you know, as, as contradictory as we are. They're, they're just fully rounded, um, complex characters.